Hi guys, welcome to Honest Discussion with Empirocracy. Today, I'm with a very beautiful, good looking young lady. Hi. Hello guys, my name is Coin. Hello guys, I beg talk with me, I hear you very well. Hello guys, <laughs> my name is Coin. All right, Queen. Hi, what's up? I'm good. Where are you from? I'm from Nigeria. Madam Queen from Nigeria. Yeah. You're welcome to Honest Discussion. Thank you. I saw who is um, living in UE for, let's say, quite a long time now, right? Yeah. Do you believe there is true love in UE? Hmm. From your own perspective, be honest. Hmm. You ask me a deep question. How deep? Deeper. So I would say, in the first place, I don't believe there is true love in UA. Really? Yeah. From your experience? From my experience. And from my own perspective. Because mm. what I had in mind before is that everyone comes to this country to look for money. Mm -hmm. We are all focused on that. Mm. So when, maybe particularly on ladies, I mean we ladies, mm. When a guy approach me, I will be like, "Is this one serious?" Before this guy left home, he's like, "I want to go and make money." And also, I want to go and make money. The same thing for me. Definitely sure. Like, would this person not distract me? What if we start cutting or maybe we start dating and blah 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 blah? You, just, you know, there is no guy that approach me like I. I don't take them serious. I don't take them serious. But after after a year, mm. I started seeing outings are in UAE. See some ladies, you know, all this they are UAE, uh, UAE wedding. Like they do call it. I'm like, is this real? I'll explain what it, what do you mean by um UAE wedding? Like I don't understand. Yeah, like UAE where you're like getting married in UAE with your husband. Mm. I'm like, is this for real? Are you guys, are you for real? Until it happens to one of my sister. I'm just a sister because it's not a, it's not a close friend. I'm just a sister of mine. Okay. I had to attend this wedding because mm. she invited me. I'm like, wow, this is going to be the first wedding I'm going to attend in UAE. Until then, that I had to believe there is true love in UAE, and people are, you know, giving testimonies about theirs. And thank God, I now met my own guy too. So, um, before you met that sister that got married, yeah, in UAE, you have never believed that there is anything called true love. Yes, I don't believe. Mm. Right now, you met somebody. Yes. Now you believe. So yes. what changed? Maybe the way, or let me say, how honest he is to me. Mm. How honest he is to me. Fine, he might not be a millionaire or billionaire like people do say. Mm. Or maybe be in his best position, what he wants. Mm. But with the little one he have, he's trying his best. And I'm seeing that. Because with my past experience, I've been hot. How many breakfasts you don't shop for you? For this UAE, talk I, I, I shopped. And you were hot? Yeah. I was hot, even let me just say for my the first breakfast also. Mm. I never gonna make me not beg the point inside Indomie business. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Because then you know, like, mm. that's my first relationship in UAE. Mm -hmm. It's not as if the guy just walked onto me straight and asked me out. Mm. It was from someone who I cannot reject. Is someone yeah. brought the guy to you? Yeah. It, okay, a big bro. Yeah. So, because of the big bro, you went there to this Yes, this because then I don't have anything, like, in this my small head. I, I want to be in a relationship. I want to be dating. I want to this blah blah. I'm just focused on what I want. What I want in UAE to make money. To make money. But my bro is like, gay. You are not getting younger. 
get married if you have a responsible guy that mm. asks you out and you say this guy is okay just go for it i say bro these people mm. I said, bro, this thing no day my mind though. Please just let me get focused. Like, let me be focused on what I want to do. Just mm. say, give it a try. Uh. Give it a try and see. Thank God I listened. You know, I give it a try, but last last I chop breakfast. <laughs> it never reached one year, Seth. <laughs> we know fight too. Oh. Nah, I never said that kind of breakfast. Now yeah, talk say uh Nagbegiri and um. The guy left you just like that with nothing. Just like that. No drama, nothing happened. We did not fight. Mm. It's just like, I just want to be in a relationship for now. Let's be friends. I said, mm? me that's have it like dreamy. My white, all this, no, now my white dress for wedding. <laughs> so, um, after that incident from the first guy, yeah. the second guy yeah then you met this one now we you are with now currently yes so this one you're with now what made you feel or think is the right person for you hmm. yeah because or is it thing that's standing out from the other person you dated that didn't work out what stand him out of my former breakfast people mm. that served me all those say should i call them waiters <laughs> all those people that served me that breakfast mm. what's time my guy out is that he is considerate he's caring mm. like he knows when i'm hungry like, he knows when i you know like all these Obanje people do do now yeah he knows when it happens to me like you just be quiet. Mm. It's not as if like maybe insulting him or all those stuff. Like some ladies, we are stubborn, very, very stubborn. Definitely. No matter what I say, no matter how I behave to him, mm. he will never take it to heart. He will just correct me and say, don't do this. This is how to do. This is how to behave. Go. Are you okay now? Or first thing we just tell him to drink water. Hmm. So you can drink water. So far, if I don't drink water, I say I don't handle with that too. That makes it a very good guy now. So then, whenever he goes out and see what he loves, he will just buy me. Really? Yeah, he will buy it for me. <laughs> but why people they feel say Nigerian men waiting for this? You are very stingy. Why girls always talk that thing? Yeah, I would say it's because of the. Or should I say it's because of the economy? Mm -hmm. Because of the economy, because mostly nigerians here yeah, before we do anything we always think about home yeah very important we always think about home you'll be like this money that i want to spend for this person now mm. what if i was after i spend the money for this person what if he later disappoints me mm. or how much is this money in my country's money you, you always want to check um, we always check that i reach before you spend on your girl yeah some people check so um why do you think so many guys are saying UAE girls are not to be trusted. You always think that when the girls in UAE, they are not. Should, let me know. They are not um, good to be wife or they're not good to be taken serious. Why that mindset? Mm -hmm. Or why do you think men have that mindset towards you and Nigerian ladies here? Maybe I would say it's because of our lifestyle. Really? Yeah. Because I would say in terms of faction and everything, Nigerian ladies, we always want to be the best. Mm. And a lot of us like to be the best, like coming out you know, in a very attractive way, in a big way. But some of us cannot maintain it ourselves. So that means um, most Nigerian girls who live here, they want to look good with a man's pocket. Not even, no, 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 that's not what I mean. Not, not all. But most of them. You can say that, but not all. Because some of us, we are hardworking. We work and buy whatever it is we want. We don't mm. wait for one guy to come and buy this for us. But some of us, they can't do without guys' money. They want their boyfriend to be the one taking care of everything, Jerry. Sorry. So, my guy, I want this, I want that. I want recharge card, even come out do it, it's a lot. They cannot afford for themselves. They cannot afford themselves. 
but um you know there are so many girls here like you said they always depend on guys for basically yeah. everything yes no influence with that most guys they don't earn good Sorry. sum of money mm. you will see a guy who earn one five yeah out of that one five he pays his house rent yeah he feeds himself yeah probably he sends some money back home to his family yes and this same girl still want them to always pay their bills also and to me that is a major major problem and i would say those people have lack of understanding lack of understanding or maybe they don't know how life is because if you as a lady you are an hard-working lady sure you know what it means how it is to earn your own money, money. then you will know how it is on that particular person earning that money but some of these girls they don't care that is it they want to wear zara they want to wear h&m they want to wear gucci they want to buy see you see a girl who has nothing working who is not working doing anything she wants you to buy him an iPhone 14 or 15 Pro Max. Maybe, maybe I would say maybe some guy, I mean, some ladies think their guys are into Yahoo or what. Mm. I don't understand because when you know the type of person you are dating, you know what Definitely. he's doing. You know how he's earning his own money. Mm. How would you just walk up to him and ask him for iPhone 14 or 15 that you even cannot afford to buy because you're not working? Okay, as a Nigerian, you have your partner here, right? Yes. Do you consider you and your home to start a family? But, but I, I prefer you actually. Why? Because I love to stay with my family. I want my kids to stay with me where I am with my, with my husband, my family to be together. What about and people who give birth and they send their, their kids back home? And they remain here to hustle and send money back home to take care of them to for them to take care of their kids. Yeah, it depends on their pockets. Do you think it's proper? Yeah, it's proper actually because they have their reason for doing so. Mm. It's proper. Because we also have some of Nigerians here that mm. their kids are with them. That's why Yeah, we have some, but not whole. We have yeah, some. Yeah, it's because of their pockets, it's because of what they are earning. So, um, to you, you want to start a family here? If God says, I would like to. What is, what, what is if God says? Is it God that will tell you, um, Queen, you guys will get married here, start giving birth here, send your, school, send your kids to school here, or it's your choice? Why I say if God says is, I, I personally, I love to, I love challenges, taking new challenges. Mm. Yeah. It depends on how much I'm hearing it's very important yeah, yeah i will determine or i will decide if i'm to stay or if i'm to stay with my family complete family or maybe i should send my child home that's fine lastly what do you have to tell um young africans who are here working hard so hard but they don't believe that someone can find love here in you or start a family do you have any word for them probably make tell them something that can change your mindset or or give love a try like 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 you did obviously my beautiful sisters out there i'm talking to every ladies not only nigerians all africans mm. just give it a try eh? the word impossible take it out of you you can't mm. say just because a guy hurts you you're not going to give another person a chance just give the person a try that guy in your dm give him a try eh? and that see how things work let me ask you one question. Okay. Can you do the guy who is living in best space? Living in best space? Yeah. Wow. I can date a guy who is living in best space. Really? Yes. How much should the guy and before he consider going to a relationship here in the way? The guy should earn at least 2,000 dirhams. So you mean a, a guy who, who is who is earning less than one thousand shouldn't consider going to dating anybody? No, you should date. It depends on the lady you are, you know. Mm. It depends on the person that you approach, like the person you ask out. If the person asks understanding, if a guy walk up to me, maybe he's earning one thousand two hundred dirham salary. Mm. If I see the type of work he's doing for that particular company, mm. 
then I will know if I can face what I mean by facing is supporting him. Okay. I will know that. Mm. But it's not as if, you know, some of us have what we want, what you want to do in life. But after getting to UA, UA gave us another work, another Entirely. career. Entirely. So I will see this career, is it a career that can lead to, you know, not just all this uh, going out for housekeeping, going out for all this, blah, blah, no. Mm. So I will look at it well and see. And if the guy has a plan for him, for yes, his life. I will ask him, yeah, what's plan? What do you think? What do you want to do? Mm. So I will be happy if the person that I'm dating, my guy, can share it. I mean, you guys, oh, you should be able to share whatever dream you have with your lady mm. and see what he have, how he can support you, how you can support each other. You Very can't fit everything to yourself alone. That's fine. And um, lastly, or oh, can you accept to marry a man who earns less than 2000 Be honest. Well, you know, you have to pay for accommodation. You have to feed. You have to pay bills, Wi-Fi, gas, the rest of them. You have so many things to do with money. Can you marry a man who earns 2000 below? Who earns 2000 below? Yeah. I don't need to think about this. I can. Are you sure? Yes. L let me um, break down this 2000. Okay. Inside 2000. Yeah. If you get married to somebody, definitely you, you, you guys will get a bigger partition. Getting married or in a relationship? I, I said getting married. Can you accept to marry a man who earns less than 2000 or 2000 below? No. Good. All right, guys, um, it's a wonderful time today. Like, I enjoyed every bit of this conversation with um, Queen. Queen, thanks for coming, man. I you're appreciate it. You're welcome. To my family out there, thanks for always supporting my platform. Please do wait to like, comment, and share. And don't forget to follow and procrastinate across all social media platforms. And also, Queen, too, will be selling her own content soon. <laughs> so, probably, I'll be posting our videos. Once in a while on my platform. Thanks and God bless. Peace out.